Congratulations! To cheer you up, your ultimate dream will now happen! On. Oh no! Ah, uh, 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 ah! Everyone! Brent? I think you broke her! Uh, everybody! Will you just shut up? Oh, You're no fun. Cue the intro title. Now I know what you're all thinking. You're crazy! This is not true! This is not possible! Well, you see, um, about a month ago, when I was starting year nine, and trust me, that's why the video schedule's been dodgy. I've been fighting a cold, and year nine is exhausting! <sighs> so, I, um, had a nice chat with Brent. Um, he can tell you on his channel how it all started, and that good old stuff. It, it's a long story that's not for today. But basically, here's what happened. We recorded it, everything was fine. We thought it'd be good for, um, you know, the two separate videos, but then, you stupid technology had to fail us, and you are nationality, is it? Just because I am from Britain, you have to fail me. Right, you're a piece of junk, and I will get a new phone soon, and you had one task, but you failed! That was just a weird joke up oh, there. Nah. So, basically technology failed on his side while we were recording stuff and sending it to me because I do not have advanced equipment, I am too young, and one day I will have enough money to get advanced equipment and I won't need Movie Maker anymore. Right, so basically, since it failed, a lot of the inter conversation we had was lost. And he found some of it, and at first it glitched a little, but the footage has been saved. <laughs> right, I just better stop rambling. I just wanted to tell you this because that's why it seems like, ooh, there's no introduction in segments. But yeah, hello, viewers. My name's Melody Claire. We'll do introductions after this segment. Bye-bye! question is, who's my favorite ninja? Yeah. Me. Okay. I'm my favorite. I love me. I'm awesome. <laughs> I know, seriously, I like me because, I, I mean, I've, I, I've created me. So, of course, I love yeah. me. Like, obviously, the animation and stuff comes with what I do. But I love the, when I see a line, I can breathe the personality that I think this character should have. And that mm. it's accepted by Lego and then animated. And then obviously you guys get to see. To me, that's just an amazing thing where I can create this, this world, you know. And, and I have to be honest with you, when I got Zane, I was kind of like, oh man, I wish I got Jay or one of the funnier ones. Like, I kind of wish I got a character that was a little bit more mm -hmm. normal for me. Because I would play, like, characters like that, like, really quick and fast or, or more like the action hero guy. But mm -hmm. then I realized as time went on that my character is so different than the other guys that mm -hmm. he became cooler and cooler in my mind. And I think to the fans, too, just this idea that this guy is... 
he he relates to people on so many levels. Mm. Like my per, my personality is a cross between Jay and Zane. I I, I can be really loud and uh, tell them the jokes, but I could also be really quiet and just observe. You know, I can mm. kind of enjoy that Zane part too. But so yeah, no, my my favorite ninja is me. I'm awesome. Mm. And I remember I was telling Mum this. I wanted to ask you this because. Does, like, voice acting really affect your, like, family time? Do you run your life smoothly? Is it kind of that sort of way thing? Because I want to, of course, when I'm older, I want to be an actress and singer. Does it really, like, bounce out and smoothly go well? You're always on. I mean, you got to also understand I got four actors in the family. So, like, Jada's working on a TV show right now. So, like, last night... I'm coaching Jada for today. She's on set. Um, so Nicole is primarily the one that goes to set, although I love to when I can. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, so I'm coaching all the lines before. The day before, Jada worked on a cartoon. I was at a studio yesterday. I did an interview with another voice actor yesterday, Sam. I interviewed Sam. <gasps> I'm so uh, excited for that. Yeah, yeah it was cool. But I'm in studios and in my home studio uh, nonstop, like nonstop, and you never turn off. So it depends mm -hmm. on, um, I've never done drugs, and I would never say to do drugs, but, I, but I'm going to relate it a little bit to an adrenaline rush, like a roller coaster or, or a drug, and why people would do it again. Because what happens is, when you work, you're on a high. You're feeling like, um, uh-oh. Oh, I may have a frame rate. We'll just see what happens. Okay. Um, yeah, something to do with the computer. Don't worry. We'll just see what happens. But um, I, I, you're on a high, right? Like you're feeling like it's amazing. You love it when you do it. And then you spend the rest of your life trying to do it again. So... If you can't live with that balance, it's super exciting when you do it. And then the next day you just want to do it again. You're not doing it every single day, but every day you're working at doing it again. Or you're doing mm. it, if you're, if you're really blessed and lucky, you're doing it a ton. But, mm. um, but, you know, I love it. So for me, like when I've got tons of stuff to do in my mm. studio today. And uh, I mean, I just never stop. I never stop. So like I might get it at eight o'clock mm. at night audition come down and do it you know so yeah it's it's kind of a 24 7 thing mm. yeah i have that uh, i have i have lots of like bounce hobbies but i but i do have church as well dropped a bomb there but it's sort of things to focus on so that's why i wanted to ask because it's kind of you know like a really interesting thing and also i speaking on the topic of family how strongly much do you feel like your family is just helped. Do they help you through rough times and tough times? Because, yeah, I've had some myself. And this wonderful lady has been my blessing. Yeah. Literally, my mother's a blessing. I, I, I would like to, to think in that I, I'm the one doing the, the good job in my family at being that person. Um, I handle things pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to share on this video, personal things. If I was ever gonna tell some of those stories, I would do it on my own channel, but but yeah, there's stuff that I've had to deal with, of course, in life, um, and it happens to all of us. But yeah, like for me, personally, um, you know, I've got two teenage, well, not, they're not, Jada's not a teenager, but you know what I, you know what I mean, right? I got two young girls, um, but you know, we're, we're, we're positive people, we, we just, tackle life and enjoy it you know there's a lot of ups and downs but i don't want to speak about those because those are too personal to me if that mm. makes sense I, I understand i'm not too personal either in life with my channel's a bit i am an open person but it doesn't yeah. really come across on my channel and also more onto the ninjago things who would you say your favorite castmate is as Probably my favorite, you're my favorite voice actor, but from the interviews I've seen, I love Vincent as well. Right. He does like the secret conspiracy of my little pony and Ninjago. 
So, Prowler, are you going to get a pawn and jump? I'll ask. I know, MLP. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I don't really want to I don't really want to um uh signal out like single out one person or anything like that. I I if we're talking about Vincent though, I tell you, Vincent's awesome. Like um he's very he's he can be super funny one second, but he's also caring uh the next. He mm. he really cares about um issues. Like if he feels you that he or you are being wronged, he will definitely speak up. Mm. He's not a guy to just sit back and take it. Um, he also kind of beats to his own drum. So when you're with Vincent, you have to be prepared. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you got to be prepared that he might. Yeah, he'll do his own thing. Uh, so oh, he's, a, yep. he's an individual. He's definitely an individual. <laughs> but he's super funny. Yeah. Super funny. I love him, honestly. When I see him, it's all around hugs. What's going on? And it's not like he, a lot of actors are into themselves and they won't ask you about your family or life outside of what you're doing on the day, but he'll okay. be like, Hey, how's, how's Nicole? How's the girls? You know, like he'll ask me. Oh. So yeah, he's awesome. Sounds like you, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do love him. I saw that I had the pleasure of seeing the full Comic-Con panel and I saw the weekend with Beck and him Fortnite dancing on the table and... okay so that's a great example so by the way they edited some of that stuff out they edited a bunch of jokes i did in that one out because i think they might have been thinking that they were not appropriate for the world but i will tell you um vincent's dancing that's a perfect example of him being an individual now i had lost my voice like almost lost my voice and i just had enough voice so i was like because we were going to do this karaoke thing i'm like well i can sing the low part on this thing which doesn't, you know, it's jumbo, you know, it's low. It's not very attractive, right? But I'm like, don't worry. I got Kelly. Mm -hmm. I got Vincent. Vincent will take the high melody. <laughs> so I'm the guy with no voice. And we get into this thing and boom, he's up dancing. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm now doing the main voice with half a voice. So that was an example mm -hmm. of like, he's just doing his own thing. And you just got to be ready for that. Mm -hmm. Rethinking it. I wish I could go back in time. I would have got up with him and done dancing as well. I would have, I would have totally yeah. adjusted it, but I was going, this isn't the plan, mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's Vincent. You just got to be mm -hmm. on your toes. Yep. Comic Con. I was like, if I had been there, I would have probably done something really silly as well. And um, like we were at rock school, a session and one of my friends and um, well, one of my band members actually told me off because I was noodling after the blackout. So I was like, after the blackout, there was darkness in the street. I love the fall. They've become one of my favorite bands. Cool, cool. So it's an initial thing. Um, <laughs> I got, sorry, I got, I only have time for one more question. I do have to go. Okay. Uh, okay. What, what's our last question? Um, if you could write your own episode of Ninjago, what would you have? Like, um, I remember in one of your videos. Oh man, I love Kirby. Ugh, all the girls should fall for me. My OC is with him. That's why I was mad with Nia with the J. Cool thing in season three. Really now down your feet season because I love Pixane. I love Pixane so much. But I would like to know, like, what would you write your episode? Because Kirby said I would write in, you know, in his spare time, since he won't call fishing and talking to us. So what would you write? If, if I was to highlight, like, um, I would write something with Pythor again. I would bring <laughs> Pythor back and I would have some sort of, um, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't go with, uh, Pythor chummy Pythor. I would turn Pythor more evil. So I would make him kind of seem like he was chummy, but really he turns into something where he's totally screwing everybody over. And then I would, I'd have something with that because I think Pythor is a great, great character. So I do something with Pythor. Mm. Well, I would have so much more and I will talk a bit at the end with the randomly thing as I do want to say, yeah, uh, Tommy, Tommy has really trolled me sometimes with the stuff he said. I remember in your interviews, I asked him, ooh, 
Are we going to see Jay's mother? Because I developed her into, oh, this would be so cool. I just, what if one of the ninja was the grandchild of the overlord? That'd be wicked. I really want to see Jay be the grandson of the overlord. So I made her like the grandson of the overlord, Maya's the, the daughter of Nadakan, and best friend storyline. Yeah, I've made a lot of storylines. You can check them on Amino. They're very fun, and Brent's got a lot of admirers on Amino. They're called a body part club thing. I just said fangirl. They went all legs on the toes. <laughs> so, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. This has just literally been an honor. Yep, I'll link my Amino or try to. Um, Mum will talk about other social medias to get. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye, Melody. Have a fantastic day. Ugh, I can be so cringy sometimes. Anyway, hello, viewers. Or in this case, should I say, friends? My name is Melody Claire. And I am your multi-fandom YouTuber. Now, I just want to say thanks for watching this video. It's appreciated a lot. But I just want to give a quick introduction that I, basically on my channel, the whole theme is multi-fandom. I want to unite fandoms together, and in everything I do, there's a slight multi-fandom twist in it. Now, don't worry, Ninjago fans. I am working hard to produce an audio drama for you. It's currently in script writing process, the first episode, and the title, Mysteries of Fire. Now, that's all I'm going to say, but you're going to love it. I can't wait to do more Ninjago videos and other fandoms on my channel, because I can tell you Ninjago nerds don't just love Ninjago. We adore Ninjago the most out of all the fandoms we're in, but there are other fandoms we like. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Now, since my Sonic has vanished, oh, it's right here, I'm going to cue the golden title, which will link you back to other videos, and link Brent's channel. Three, two, one. Geronimo!